right, so uh, Cypher Factory podcast part two yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, with the artists. So I'm your host, Arbella. I'm going to be interviewing, you know, our artists for the Cypher. So if you guys want to go ahead and introduce yourselves, like your real name and uh, what you go by. So we'll start right here. My name is Benjamin Alejandre. My, uh, I go as TM Benny Han, though. I'm from Antica, California, and I'm 19 years old. All right. Um, I'm Kenta. I go by Kenta. Uh, I'm from Tokyo, but I'm repping two and nine. You know what I'm saying? Keep What's going. up? I'm Fernando. Uh, I'm also the always. If I'm on the internet, and uh, you can find me on IG, the always. I'm from Livingston, and I'm always gonna be two and nine till I die. Hey, Ooh, good nice. one. What's up? I'm Jonathan. I go by J Wonder. I'm from Hanford, California, the 559, you know, it's all nines. County of the Kings. County of the Kings. <laughs> and um, I am 22, so yeah, we're here. Dope, cool. My name's Ivy Shocker. Well, my real name's Nevin <laughs> Shocker. I go by Ivy Shocker. I'm from Ceres, California, and I put all this stuff together. Hey. All right, cool. So um, I guess the first thing I want to ask you guys, like, I mean, obviously, we all, like, do our own thing. We're all artists and stuff. But I just kind of want to get into your, like, studio routines. Like, if you guys even have any, or do you guys just, like, go in there, fresh freestyle, and leave? Or do you do anything weird, pre-written stuff, whatever? I mean, I'm sure it's all different every time. But just, you know, get our feet wet here. Uh, we got a studio, actually, at my house. Uh, in my room, actually. It's, like, part, like half room, half studio. It's mm -hmm. pretty cool. I got We got our own little uh, curtains hung up, like, our own like, okay. individual space going in there, too. Um, but uh, what what was the original question again? Actually, uh, if you guys like have any studio routines or routines. anything like that, or do you we guys just just uh, we would uh we would meet up first and then just kick it in his garage and catch a vibe first. Okay. And then just go straight to his room and pause and just like pause yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get to the you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but no, like like we don't really have like a vocal vocal Tradition. warm up or nothing. Yeah. It's like a kind of just yeah, catch just, a vibe, just yeah, right. depending on the day kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Right, right. And the yeah. conveniency too, mm -hmm. it keeps it like yeah. we're in there so much. Yeah, it makes it organic yeah, for sure. Exactly. Nice, all right. What's up? Uh, I like to kind of just keep it fresh. Like mm -hmm. I record demos like in my in my living room and stuff, or I'll take it to a different room depending on how it sounds, or like the bathroom. Mm -hmm. I don't know mm -hmm. if anybody's recorded the that. Yeah. Yeah. Natural so, reverb. Oh, actually, yeah. <laughs> so like doing that kind of stuff and then um but I do have like my friend does record stuff in his like home studio, so like I guess that's where I get serious and mm -hmm. okay. um but routines. I guess like going to his house, like he always gives me a Gatorade. Okay. Like, that's, that's <laughs> the most you need to drink a Which Gatorade? What color? Yeah, exactly. Straight up, bro. Oh, uh, he always has lime green okay. or the the fruit punch right. one, so I have to go with the lime. Yeah. What about so you, Jay? I, let's see. So, I guess whenever I do go to, I don't have my own studio, like a home studio, but mm -hmm. I do have like some friends and people that have their own little studios and mm -hmm. setup, you know. Okay. So that's that's where I usually go, you know, probably in Hanford. And I honestly, I always wear my hat. To be honest, uh, I feel like it's just like this mood, and it's kind of like gives you that personality. Yeah. yeah Do you want to talk about the nine a little vibe. bit too? Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> I got this hat. It's a nine hat, and so I'm from like the five five nine area code too. So I kind of have my EP that I dropped, and it's called Through the Nine. I wanted to make it kind of like a little introduction to kind of show everybody you know mm -hmm. where I'm from, mm -hmm. and yeah, take sick. them on a little journey, you know, kind of show them different vibes that I got from where I'm from, you know. So. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much that. Um, and yeah, usually like whenever I go to the studio, um, I kind of already, I come up with the hook first and just kind of catch that flow, that melody, and then like the verses come yeah, back Yeah, work next, off you know, that for much. sure. Yeah, that's where I go from. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. cool that you like yeah. did that thing with the nine because I'm, it's kind of like Modesto or like anything else in the Valley. We don't yeah. oh. know about that. So really yeah, good yeah, good marketing yeah. and like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you put I mean, us on, so bro, we didn't know. I don't you know. You got your slogan with the nine, right? Yeah. And then the homeboy right here came up with a new slogan for the Central Valley. All right. right. He's calling it the dub nine. That's, hey, that's true, though. That's true. Yeah, yeah. All, nines. all nines. All nines. All right. Um, so have you guys, like, performed anywhere, or do you guys anticipate performing in the near future or something like that? Is that something you guys want to do? Most definitely. I've been, like, waiting for my first performance. I've yet to do that. Uh yeah, but I'm waiting on it for sure. It's going to be a blast. I'm ready. You heard it here first. Okay. Um, I've done one small performance in like, Tokyo. Oh, yeah, yeah. But okay. But not once in America yet. Mm -hmm. So I'm, just, I'm excited as well. Yeah, Hopefully for sure. Yeah. Oh, tight. International. Yeah, yeah. yeah. international yeah. superstar. Worldwide. <laughs> 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 I, I did a couple shows in the Bay. Okay. Um, uh, a 
few at the Honey Hive Gallery. It's like a startup type of like venue. Mm-hmm. Those uh, are nice Francisco. little intimate spaces, yeah. Yeah, and um, a couple other places like um, cafes and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And, uh, sure. I opened for Filthy Rich one time. Hey, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, it was Just like casual kind of flex. Like a, okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was, yeah. No, it was like it was like a group thing, and it was kind of like you had to like sign up. Yeah. And a bunch of people as well. Just open up so for Filthy Rich. It wasn't you know, like something just like, like yeah. Rich, but how, like, how do you like get? How do you like get to that point? Like where you get to open up where, for an artist like that? So anybody can do it. That's uh-huh. a lesson that I learned as a young artist. Okay. I was like, so they basically get you in, and they're like. All right, come in and you can open up for Filthy Rich. You just gotta sell like X amount of tickets. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then okay. You go, like you're indebted to them. For so a you promote amount. your own show, kind of. So you basically promote the show for them. Yeah. You get tickets okay. out for them. Yeah. Then so you do the footwork. Oh. Like, as soon as you get the tickets out, it's like you're good. Yeah, you're good, but you need to get those tickets out. But luckily, I had people that supported me. And were like, oh, that's yeah, cool. yeah. Like, that's dope. That's dope. I'll buy like for two sure. tickets and stuff. That's and good. Whatever. So like it worked out. But how many tickets did you have to sell for that one? At least twenty. Could you buy oh, them okay. yourself, like That's on some like bad. fifty cent stuff, That's like just yeah. like buy them all out? Like yeah, <laughs> I just I think like the minimum was each one of them was like twenty twenty five dollars mm-hmm. something like okay. that. So like it was like five hundred dollars. Yeah. Oh okay. yeah. Rich, if you need me to open. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm right here. I'll like show you fifty tickets. I got you. Yeah. Yeah, and there's a bunch of shows like that everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. So I haven't had like a legit like performance, I would say, but I have like kind of sung some of my songs, you know, at some areas, like at some. Like little like restaurants mm-hmm. and like mm-hmm. kind of little dance events too. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna be actually like my old high school and then my old west my college junior college have asked me to come in, uh, kind of do a little show a little some of my songs. Okay. Mm-hmm. So it's gonna be a cool little thing, you know, kind of coming back to you yeah. know my yeah. old uh, like home my, roots. Uh, yeah, high yeah, schools and, sure. and my colleges. Too. Yeah, yeah, and then too, you know, kind of being a kind of like a role model i guess to be honest yeah, yeah, yeah. A, lot of, a lot of like them look up to me you know over there in my hometown so it feels good too but i do plan hopefully you know sometime right now i wouldn't i'm not really looking to like uh do like a performance yeah. yet but i yeah. do later on you know, in the future yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. i'm just getting kind of more like exposure making some more songs you mm-hmm. know building more, your yeah, credibility building your more yeah and expanding and networking so for sure but yeah so def- definitely i think i would want to do a performance too you know later mm-hmm. We should keep in touch. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, that's like yeah. one of the purposes of the cipher for everyone mm-hmm. to interlink and like build yeah, upon yeah. each other. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so I really wanted people to come together on this project and just like mm-hmm. collaborate with each other and meet new people. Yeah. Like your yeah, yeah, fans yeah, yeah, can yeah. become his fans. Oh, his yeah. fans yeah. can become your fans. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Cool yeah. Definitely. Like you guys are all sitting here because y'all have that talent. You know, you guys right. are the gems out of all the submissions. Right. Yeah. Definitely. You know. Mm-hmm. Appreciate that, brother. Yeah, yeah, much love, much yeah. love. And at the end of the day, like we're all music fans, anyways. So oh, yeah. especially yeah. like supporting local music, that's oh, super yeah. important. Mm-hmm. If you want, Definitely. the cool you thing know, too, you know, that I like how like you brought like different type of people, you know, different styles, different yeah, flows. Yeah, for sure. And like mm-hmm. it's all it's all different, but like it's t- it's talent though, you yeah. know. Yeah. Like, so at the end of the day, like it's it's unique. It's mm-hmm. Yeah, you guys can like work off of each other. Yeah. Exactly. I think that's crazy yeah. too. So I was just telling them yesterday, yeah, we have a bunch of different styles in this cipher that we got. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And people people wouldn't think it. People oh, yeah. wouldn't even yeah. think yeah. like no there's way. that there's, there's like talent. a yeah. Yeah. of the way that exactly. just one cipher could go. Yeah. I was like. Yeah, 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 try to, yeah, uh-huh. try to, try to do, it. yeah, dude, honestly, yeah, I try to give my own little kind of little style yeah. flow, you know, a little, yeah. thing, a little melody, yeah. you know, some a little different, but yeah. yeah. The, the yeah. cool thing about ciphers, though, like the whole point of a cipher is like everybody come together and it shows you all the different possibilities that can come off yeah. one beat. That. Yeah. Because you guys all have the same exact beat, mm-hmm. right? right? But y'all hit it different. Mm-hmm. Right. Each right. one of you, you know, y'all yeah. brought your own flavor, your own taste to the pie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It like, came out really nice. It came out saucy. Yeah. Hell of a <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was listening all the way over here in my car, dude. I was slept with that stage. Shout out Deduction. Shout out Christian. Like, yeah. yeah. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, so being like inspired by one another, I mean, we're like just inspired by you guys, even though like I don't personally rap. <laughs> I know Nevin like dabbles in that, but oh, like, yeah. you know, I think it's really tight. So do you guys have like any inspirations out like, it could be like artists, like bigger names, or like mm-hmm. any creative inspirations. Like, what? Who do you guys look up to? Or like? I'd have to say uh, my two best friends that I started doing this with, Kenta and Joel. Uh, really, bro. They, <laughs> they started Cute. me off with this. It was it was Joel first because I didn't meet Kenta. Well, That's my boy right here. Yeah, um, Kenta was in Japan when I first started getting into this. It wasn't even like three years ago, probably. And I was like, just spitting at the park just some random stuff and joe mm-hmm. was like you need to start writing dude like your vocab is crazy and i was just like all right bro i guess i'll try it. and ironically my brothers uh before me tried some 
some goofy YouTube rapping, nothing as serious as I'm taking it. But they tried it ironically <laughs> before me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I was on that too, to yeah. be frank. But still yeah. On. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Got started somewhere. Uh, yeah. It's still fun. It's yeah. still fun. Oh, yeah. I, I it just keeps it fresh. Like, like if you're in a rut. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I want to bust out any uh, kind of just little bits of energy. Just hop yeah. on YouTube real quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, I'd have to say my boys for sure. Uh, they they helped make me. They helped make me who I am right now. Solid answer. Yeah, um, dang. <laughs> Follow that one up. <laughs> you don't have to go have a heart to heart right here. Yeah. Right? Well, definitely. Oh. Definitely Joe Westside Rory on Instagram Westside and Rory. Team Behan on Instagram. These two guys. Um, but I don't. I grew up like my parents kind of like just playing everything. Okay. Like, around the house, like from like rock to uh, jazz to reggae to mm-hmm. everything. So it was like not really specific role mm-hmm. model but it was kind of like, I guess my parents because my dad kind of dwells into music a little bit uh-huh. my mom can sing so it was Ooh, like okay. I kind of like got inspiration just growing up naturally you know mm-hmm. but yeah definitely these two guys th- these, this guy and my other guy outside the room and my parents yeah okay yeah keep it close yeah. Um, yeah, as far as I would say like people that keep me going the people around you are like if they're supporting you they're like the real ones and yeah really and having that like it just it propels you really forward um i think as far as like musically uh, i listen to a lot of different stuff uh, i think shout out to interpol hey. um paul banks has always been like just this like really weird writer so i always wanted to be kind of like that and a little bit off um you know of course andre 3000 yeah he's the god mm-hmm. um, for sure um yeah other than that i mean i listen to a lot of like jazz and stuff i play sax and stuff oh like yo so, like, i did I not know that sax too back yeah. Then. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's crazy yeah. 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 no i know i've been thinking about it I, like i want to go to god shops because that's, <laughs> that's like a huge exactly thing right now just like lo-fi like yes. jazz with like a trap instrumental oh, over or yes. something like that yes or like i know you're exactly i was like i know you're into selection so like that's huge Exactly. Yeah. And those and all that kind of stuff. I mean, we're living in a great age where like we get to continue to be inspired by songs that mm-hmm. you know, we yeah. can just call on with the internet all the time. Yeah, so, yeah like, for sure. Yeah. That's true. So um I'd say the main uh kinda thing that inspired me, my dad and his brothers, so my uncles, right? They had a band called Los Maravilla and they did more kind of Spanish music, right? Mm-hmm. Kinda more like cumbias, they did kinda okay. more like cheras, right? Look mm-hmm. so it was lit, it was lit. <laughs> and this was back then, um, like before I was born, you know, that's when they started. So they would kind of be, you know, playing at like uh, some parties, you know, mm-hmm. like weddings and stuff like that mm-hmm. over there back um, where they used to live by Davis. Okay. Austin Davis. Yeah, yeah. And then I just grew up, you know, with like kind of the first, my first four or five years growing up uh, with like music around me, you know, listening to them. Like, and then I started learning how to play. My dad taught me how to play the drums. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of how I, you know, Rhythm. felt that rhythm that yeah. tempo you know like inside of me so it's kind of just growing up yeah and then my mom would sing too so it kind of it was just kind of in me you know i was always around music mm-hmm. and then that's so yeah that's basically kind of the main uh inspiration kind of behind me doing music now all right and uh, along with that uh, i would say honestly because i do i do listen to drake honestly ever since Yo, middle school yeah i never had i never had like an ipod or no mp3 or anything mm-hmm. so i never really listened to music until i heard on the radio uh best i ever had mm. wow 2009, 2009 was, yeah 2009 yeah. was a good year and then ever since then you know i really started trying to like kind of mm-hmm. sing more rap and then mm-hmm. kind of just you know do that so and now yeah so you ever sing, sing in spanish too Actually, I do sing in Spanish, and okay. I do have some plans already in the works. Uh, so I'm going to do some reggae, reggaeton, you okay. know. Okay, so yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Spanish. Right. Yeah, because really your style is definitely, yeah. like, yeah. already, yeah. like, yeah. almost yeah, yeah, yeah. there, I feel like. You're definitely heading in that yeah. direction, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I think that's so really Little cool. by little, you know, I'm kind of, mm-hmm. I've been experimenting, doing, like, trying to be diverse, you know, versatile, mm-hmm. so, but definitely I, I am going to do a reggaeton. So. Would you get your dad on the beat? Um, <laughs> he tells me, honestly, because he, tell, he would make, he produced a few songs back then, too, Yo. so. He tells me that he would want to. It's just, I mean, if he has time yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. That'd be pretty cool, you know, if we did a little collab. Yeah. yeah. You got your family on Spotify and all that? Like, yeah, 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 uh, relatives and stuff? Uh, that did, like, Spanish music and stuff? Mm, 
I'm sure it's probably more local stuff. It was, yeah, like, it was kind of more local stuff. Yeah, yeah. it was more local yeah. stuff. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. It was more local stuff back then, you know. Sure. They probably didn't have none of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> none of that technology right now, but. They didn't have DistroKid back then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, for real, huh? Just, <laughs> just, let me get my LimeWire download, no worries. Yeah, LimeWire, that's just break my computer. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so other than that, though, a lot of, like, from the, from Hanford, you know where I'm huh, from. Shout out, fr- shout out Hanford, shout out to Kings County, you know, Fresno area, too, 559. I've gotten a lot of support, you know, and a lot of love, too. So, like, they keep kind of... It's the main reason, too, why I keep making these songs and mm-hmm. making right, some right. music, too, right yeah. now. So, yeah, that's it. I sense, like, a little bit of a regga- reggaeton in the Loving Your Energy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We yep. did listen to that before you we came here. We actually were yeah. hoping you uh, walked in as we were listening to it, but... Yeah. Got you didn't. It's <laughs> yeah. all right. We'll get yeah. him next time. Good. Yeah, definitely, like, that type of, like, more kind of singing is definitely something I feel more, you know, definitely a lot yeah. more right here in the heart, you know. Yeah. I feel that. I feel oh. that. That, but yeah. Did you guys end, did you guys like rent that hall out for the video shoot or how did that all happen? So, uh, because like that video was like I could tell there's a lot yeah, of yeah, definitely well produced. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we were planning it like we we got a lot of help too. Honestly, like a lot of, like with friends and the DJ. You know, my friend Nick. Shout out to Nick, um, DJ Nicks, and they everybody came through. And then the King's Cultural Center, that's what it's called. So actually, yeah, my girlfriend is um, her mom and her dad have the King's Cultural Center over there by Hanford, and they teach they do like teach classes like with music and dancing oh, okay. and like oh, wow. instruments. So it's honestly it's like I, like it's cool that they do that too. You know, they share that culture too yeah. with like music and you know just yeah. spreading that <coughs> music and that energy that love. You know, so right, right, right. so yeah, they were able to let us use that that venue right there, and That's it sick, came man. out pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. So I was, I was, I'm glad how it came out, yeah. yeah That's yeah. crazy. We were talking about that on the last podcast, how, like, Hanford and, like, Atwater, like... Lamore. All, Lamore, like, all <laughs> yeah. those, like, areas had, like, musical, um, like, classes and stuff like that to get you guys started when you were young. And, like, we had that, too, I guess, but we were playing, like, recorders and bands and, like, you know, uh, yeah. it wasn't where they were getting, like, DJ like classes. Yeah. Or, you know, oh. like, yeah, so I think that's really cool that they're doing that and, like, your girlfriend's parents are doing that for... Yeah. kids and stuff like mm-hmm. that's such a yeah. good foundation to have no matter like what profession you're interested in just yeah, having that just having appreciation that. is something yes. that's mm-hmm. important i yeah, feel like definitely. like this music it's like therapeutic like it's powerful oh, stuff yeah. to oh, yeah. be honest it's really For powerful sure. so i guess like being hip-hop artists i mean if you guys consider yourself that i don't want to like yeah yeah or you know being a part of a hip-hop cypher i guess right. we'll make that a little more inclusive um how do you guys feel about like the industry right now or you know there's hot takes going around seems like every other day so it's all business there's there's the genuine people that are in there doing their thing grinding and whatnot but i feel like majority is business running get everyone's after their bag yeah i feel like every artist should know their worth Mm -hmm. even if you're uh signed or not like you know i'm saying go out your way make your own website if you can't have nobody like sell you clothes or something or yeah like, you know what I'm saying? Know your worth and do your own thing if you can. If you can. If you can, somebody's going to help you, I guess. And, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Like, if I ever get, like, a deal or something, I might take it. Yeah, I but mean, there's no, I'm like, not, you know? I'm not going to look down upon you because you did that. It's just, exactly. like, you know, the industry is just so different now where it's, like, you don't have to have a label to do what you mm-hmm. want to do. Exactly. You, it's so easy to be independent nowadays. Well, not easy, but, you know, like, it's, it's, it's more accessible than possible, it was before. Yeah. 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 Like, we could drop a whole album on Distro King, get it on Spotify. Distro King, like, shout out Distro King. Yeah, <laughs> shout out, shout out. But, um, <laughs> yeah, it's like, we don't have to, like, <laughs> rely. Away, yeah, yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah, you don't need to know people anymore, either. Because, yeah. like, as long as you have your own, like, equipment and stuff, mm-hmm. you could do anything. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. Exactly. And then once you drop the music, you know, you got your people that like it, you know, they share it, and it's just from there, you know, just make music, mm-hmm. and then it'll just go, it'll just no, and shout out to Chance the Rapper. He made it possible to like yeah. make the any, acid rap any stuff, sort of yeah. dreams count yeah, as for far sure. as like yeah. making yeah. money and generating. Yeah, and monetizing it. And yeah. 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 You could be nominated yeah. for a Grammy just based off of oh, streams now. Stuff. You don't yeah. have to sell albums anymore. Like you can. It's, that was like, Chance. Yeah, that was Chance, Chance the Rapper. That did that. Yeah, man. Yeah. When was this? I, this I was like two, three years ago. Yeah, off like Spotify, I think. Yeah, because he was making the argument because Chance the Rapper, he's never sold a single album ever. Yeah, because he's never like had like an album out in stores and stuff. It was all free, like SoundCloud. Bandcamp, Spotify, so, YouTube, stuff like that. He was technically the first artist to win, or like you know. I would say the first major artist. I'm sure there's others. That no, are he like, was like the first artist artist to, to win off a of mixtape. Right? To get nominated. To for get oh, okay, well, yeah, Grammy wise. Yeah. I'm saying like that's, making money that's off a, like that's, that's a digital a tape. Yeah. That's a right yeah. But but not not making money. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he he gave out like yeah. music. Yeah, he made, gave out music for free as like a sixteen year old, mm. and, it, and it was like really big. But you know, his his dad was like in the he was like, in the Chicago, government. Yeah, he was like um, he was like Obama. the senator. He was up there. Yeah. He was a political Obama, figure for sure. He was like yeah. homies with Obama and stuff. Oh, yeah, wow. exactly. So he had a little bit of clout, <laughs> and then he used that, put out a mixtape, yeah. you know, and then uh, you know, Childish Gambino heard of it, and mm. he was like, "Come on tour with me." And after that, it was a wrap. All she needed was some. That was a good song. Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> I mean, the industry. Uh, needed, though. The industry is getting better. You can't see that. <laughs> hey, it's PG-13 show. Yeah. Um, all right, cool. So um, you guys all drop your music on SoundCloud, correct? Or, like, not, maybe not regularly, but it's been on SoundCloud. It's accessible. It's I know yours is different. Yours is more on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. So how do you guys feel about the term SoundCloud rapper, like? Do you feel like that applies to you? Do you guys feel like that's a negative connotation? If, if or? it's where I'm at, like, it's where I'm at. I'm yeah. Like, I, I'm calling myself, like, a YouTube rapper right now <laughs> until I get out on all platforms. But if I was, if I was the, uh, if I was a SoundCloud rapper, I'd, like, come on, box me and you can box me and I know how, I know what I'm working with. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah like, it I is think, what it is. Yeah, I, I think mm-hmm. boxing, a, boxing a type of people like that isn't really cool, but, I mean, I guess it is, like, a, generational wave type of thing when SoundCloud mm-hmm. came up and people came up off of SoundCloud. Yeah. So at the same people. time, it's, oh, yeah. a, it's a like a, it's kind of like a cool, cool thing that, you, yeah. you know, you can kind of get out there with SoundCloud. Yeah, so shout out Raider Clan, like, shout out Sesh. Yeah. Yeah. Literally. All these all like a, it was like a game changer to allow like, artists oh, yeah. to, you know, like, come up. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, oh, I can't put it on Spotify, I put it on SoundCloud. It's like, I like the easiness of accessibility, I think. Yeah. Because oh, yeah. yeah. SoundCloud is just as easy to stream on SoundCloud than Spotify. It's free for everybody not to stream on there free, so... You guys are here right now. I'm sure there's like some thought into the future as to like where you want to take this music thing. I know I don't want to like put you guys like way far ahead because like I'm the last person to be planning anything. I'm just like, yeah, whatever happens, happens. But like, do you guys want to like tour or like make your stuff more accessible and like stores or something like that? Like, what do you guys want to do? Like, what's the next step? Yeah. To get to, right to yeah, because I'm sure this was like, to go. Uh, I yeah. think definitely putting everything on Spotify, iTunes, Google, cause, just because the regular demographic of any any fan base, when you see your stuff on Spotify, iTunes is validation. It mm-hmm. gives you credibility. It's the same song, same quality yeah. on SoundCloud, they'll box you as a SoundCloud rapper. Yeah. Mm. I'm just saying, I, I think everybody should just start distributing. And yeah. Just yeah. Dropping, you it's know? possible, like, yeah. Yeah, because you can. And you'll yeah, get your small royalty, too. Yeah, it's yeah. not too expensive, y'all. Like, let's do it. I'm, I'm on the way, too. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to say that's the next move too. Yeah, all platforms. From there, uh, getting a hold of a bunch of uh, pages to shout you out. From there, get your eye, get the get people seeing you, mm-hmm. get your name out there. Pay for a World Star Hip Hop video. Yeah. Wow. Drop a little rack. What was that? Sometimes you have to. We'll just get our own fight club. <laughs> no worries. World Star. World Star. Like, World Star. Honestly. Honestly, I did think about, like, Spotify and stuff like that. So, like, I just started to, like, scale back everything. Mm-hmm. Instead of, like, working on... If I feel like working on a mixtape, I should work on a song. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If, okay. I, if I feel like working on an EP, yeah. I should get, like, a beat going or That's something. a good approach. Mm-hmm. Just, like, really scale it back That's and then... Uh, yeah, you'll maybe. accomplish a lot more with that, I feel exactly. like. Exactly. And putting, putting one song on Spotify as a goal this year, like, that might be something. But, yeah. like, honestly, yeah. like, I want to have fun. Like, I yeah, do, I, so, like when you yeah. guys said that you want, want to do more shows, it's like, I mean... We I, we've been like kind of going back and forth uh, between maybe doing outdoor shows, mm-hmm. you know, like getting a generator, setting up the stuff, mm-hmm. um, and just like in an area where like we can, because there's a lot of space out here in the mm-hmm. tour line. Like there's right. so much space straight you fields. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you could just yeah. get a crowd of people and just like have fun. Like mm-hmm. I just want to do fun stuff, mm-hmm. uh, and that's it. Like mm-hmm. yeah, I just want to have fun. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just, just want to chill. Bring in a bigger fan base. That's it. That's mm-hmm. also what I just yeah. Want to add. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that definitely comes with it all, you know? People recognize. Real recognize real. Yeah. Right yeah. now you're looking familiar. No, I'm just kidding. But, um, <laughs> I, really like the, I really like the approach you've been taking with your fans, Jay. Like, uh, reposting what they post about you and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. That engagement. Yeah, I feel like it makes them feel really valued. Beneficial. This is yeah. this is how you guys were saying, you know, it's a lot easier nowadays with social media, honestly. And it really is. Like, if you're smart and you kind of strateg- strategize your, like, your, your moves with music and like a lot of people like really be on instagram and snapchat well mostly instagram is what i kind of share my stuff on mm-hmm. you know so but i mean okay so i did put um a few songs on soundcloud and then one from my ep uh through the nine and it was lost soul 
just to kind of, you know, it's free, you know, so everybody would be able to listen to it, kind of mm-hmm. see what their reactions were. You know, a lot of people liked it over there, back to uh, my hometown. So, And then that's when uh, we decided, you know, shout out to Jose. He goes by Catch a Fit. Uh, he kind of <laughs> pushed me name. to the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he pushed me to um, kind of put my stuff onto the platforms, you know, like Apple Music, Spotify, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. And like how you guys say, you know, it really gives that, like, credibility, validation, mm-hmm. you know, like, up another level, you know, mm-hmm. that next level. And... Uh, I was able to get my stuff on there, and I yeah, I definitely would recommend you know you guys and everybody to try to get onto that, those platforms mm-hmm. too, because then you're able to also see like on Spotify for artists, Apple Music for artists, you know some apps, uh-huh. and you can see like all your streams, your numbers, yeah. the, all the analytics. where some, people yeah. are yeah. looking at it, like different cities, countries, and it's it's crazy to be honest, you know, to think because I've been getting some a lot of like, some plays in like other countries, you know, like Word. yeah. yeah. Yeah, That's like crazy. so, like yeah. Spain, like Italy, Germany. Oh, yeah. um, let's see, so like Mexico, Brazil, Philippines, yeah, uh, Japan, and it's like it's humbling. Yeah, it's yeah. it's crazy, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah. And it's like seeing that you know these your songs be playing, and yeah. this is this was just like off of the first month, you know, my first little EP, you know. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. but just because of that, just because it's on the platforms, like all these different things, yeah. you know, start coming up, you know, and more or make it possible, you know. So, mm-hmm. so yeah, it's it's cool. I feel like a lot of the things that prevent an artist from going on those streaming services is not having somebody that made the beat for them. Because, mm. oh, like, okay. that's a, yes. big, that's a yes. big problem. That's a, like... So, yeah. Or at least buying it or something. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because then that's when it comes into it, like, oh, wait, he's going to get credited. Yeah, that's another him? issue. Yeah. Am I allowed to legally, you know, and, like, am I... Because it gets sketchy, you know, because you're dealing with business. Like, how you guys said, it's the business, right. you know, mm-hmm. so... And so you got to be careful. So, but luckily, my, my friend, uh, shout out to Mari, Mari Kari on the beat. Uh, hey. He produced my uh, the he produced the beats for uh, my EP, and so we collabed on it, and then that way you know it's both me and him on it, you know, and we mm-hmm. both agreed, so we're cool, you know, and makes it easier, obviously, you know, right, having right. to like purchase a beat off of YouTube from somebody that yeah you don't really know where they're from, you know, like are they gonna be cool? What's yeah. gonna happen? You know, are they later, gonna be timely? And like you know, mm-hmm. so yeah. it's really like if you're able to get your own beats, you know, you have some friends, you know, you guys work together on some projects, you know, mm-hmm. it makes things a lot. Uh, smoother, oh, definitely. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Mm-hmm. All right, so say you're on tour, assemble your dream tour right now. Who are you going with? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, we talking Whoa. Damn. Yeah. Wow. Damn. <laughs> like, no, no, like, <laughs> okay, no limits? Like, you guys no can limit? think about no it, but like, lot okay, so we'll give you an opener and then oh. you can like, Bring someone out, bring people out. You can go with like, like one or two, line. one or two other artists. Yeah. So an opener and like two other artists. Damn. If, if, that's max. You can don't have to do oh, all that. I, out a whole lot. <laughs> I mean, whatever you can. I'm sure they're still thinking about it. Somebody to open for us. Whatever you guys want. I'm just trying to like make it easy I for you. I need Tory Lanez. Oh, Tory Lanez. <laughs> just to get everybody hyped. Yeah. All right. <laughs> but if I have that type of money, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. No, we're talking. This is dream tour. Like oh, yeah. money's not an issue Tory right now. Tory opening. I'm perform right after. Right before I end, maybe have like, like some kind of grimy rapper to finish it off. Like I don't know, like Chapo. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like Davies, like Money the Butcher, somebody, somebody grimy. Dom Kennedy. Bro. Yeah, Dom. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody currency, maybe like. I'm so like grimy. Somebody to like ride it out. Okay. All right, I got a weird little mix, but uh, it's just my favorite people. You dig? So I'm gonna go with Chewy. He's from SAC. Dude, no way. Oh, no yes. one else I know listens to him. Bro. <laughs> what? Bro, he is my favorite rapper of all That's time. crazy. That's ridiculous. Oh, That's, bro, your, <laughs> hey, your reaction is my main, is everyone's reaction that we tell. Like, who's Chewy? Who's Chewy? Like, bro, yeah. how do you not know? Yeah. That's Chewy. wild. Yeah. Whoa. Chewy's the boy. Hey, the homie yeah. Joel, yeah, he put me on to, to, uh, to Chewy and all Whoa. of his music and everything. Yeah, and Triz, shout out Triz. I'd go on, I'd go on tour. Yeah, back to the... Back in this branch, um, I go on tour with uh, with JID, Chewy. Never been a hey, never been a hey, never been a hey. Cannabis, cannabis, running my split. Anyways, <laughs> uh, my third, uh, I know, <laughs> my third is tough. Uh, so I'm gonna just just shoot the weekend, honestly, because I love him. Um, I don't know, I don't know about like opening, but like yeah, no worries. I do, I do think about like uh, a whole show where it's like DJs. Like yeah, yeah, like selection DJ, style for like sure. Exactly, like almost like a boiler room, but then like oh, boiler room. You can include like probably like I'd want Little Dragon to come on. So like Little, Little Dragon is so, so underrated. Yeah, it'd be so sick. I accidentally saw her twice, and she's so good every time. Accidentally? Yeah, like I never signed. Like I saw her at Outside Lands, but I didn't like 
that was just because there was no one else like to see at the moment. And then oh, nice. what I year? Uh, last year, 2017 or 2016, one of those. Cool. And then I saw her. She was the headliner, but I mainly went for Bad, Bad, Not Good and Flying Lotus. So I was like, yeah, listen, like, <laughs> yeah, you're cool, but you know what I'm here for. So, yeah, like that or like something like Gorillaz stuff like that like just that's like a vibe a for sure ensemble yeah, yeah and like you know djs and people jumping out and i don't know yeah no like that's that. yeah that's a good lineup She's gorillas are tight big fan that's lit. what's up drake let's see all right Pro- <laughs> <laughs> yeah so yeah drake opens no question yeah. Nah. <laughs> yeah, that'd be crazy drake all right. opens for you <laughs> <laughs> hey maybe for, one point for yeah when he gets older if, he's gonna have for to. Real, huh? if they'd ever yeah, got to that sure. point yeah that'd be crazy yeah. um i think it'd be dope if I'd, if we'd be able, if I'd be able to bring like a lot of you guys from the Central Valley, you know, Aww. when we started, if if it ever got to a point, you know, oh, yeah. and yeah. bring everybody from like the Volume One, Volume Two, you know, oh. all the ciphers that are uh, yeah. happening. I'll just That's be in the back with the ad You know that intro, you know, just <laughs> see where everybody, you know, where we came from, where we're from, you know, and That's we got love, the talent bro. we got. For sure. Um, all and then after that, I feel like if. I were to bring out, you know, obviously, you know, Drake would be pretty yeah. yeah. That should be crazy. Oh, yeah. Drake is everyone. And then also, uh, <coughs> honestly, yeah, Travis Scott, man. I Travis feel like Scott his energy and his level is some crazy. He has oh, probably the most iconic up. ad-libs I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's lit. Yeah, you know, yeah, straight yeah. up. But I feel like, yeah, that'd be, that'd be pretty dope. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm still shocked you know Chewy, though. I'm hella Shout out Chewy, yo. I'm so, that's crazy. Hey, hey. Dude. South oh. Sack Jay-Z over here. You hey. feel me? <laughs> wow. Yo, so uh, what do you guys hope to get out of this whole experience, being part of the Cypher Factory? Hmm. Or what have you gotten already? What I've gotten so far is a great group of people, honestly. I, 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 uh, I honestly... I'm not like the greatest people person. Hmm. Uh, I got trust issues with people. So like coming around like new people, I wasn't sure how I was going to feel coming around everybody and hmm. like just uh, in terms of how I talk and my awkwardness. I don't know. It yeah. all adds up, you feel me? So I wasn't sure how I was going uh, going to go into this. But like the fact that everyone's so like musically inclined and like hip hop, like everyone's educated, everyone's like into the same thing. Mm-hmm. Everyone can relate. And it's just making all the vibes even better. So like it's just the retweet. Yeah, yeah super exactly. comfortable, retweet. real quick. Yeah. Yeah. He said retweet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I definitely uh, I was like, I was just like chilling, and then Nevin hit me. <laughs> he said right? I was chilling. Yeah. I was chilling. <laughs> I was chilling. I brought my music video. I was chilling. And Nevin hit me, and I was like, wow, like it's real. So yeah. I honestly came here to just have fun, like to actually just being like a little hip hop vibe. Mm. And then I got here and like. Oh, y'all here like yeah it's, it's something like different yeah. it's on a different level like we're serious got, like, yeah new people to connect with we got like great artists in this room like you know what i'm saying you, you got you guys have a nice radio station mm-hmm. like, shout, like, out shout out kcss, KCSS. Shout out KCSS. Shout out KCSS. Yeah. Like, california yeah like, thursdays eight to ten in. thank you oh. <laughs> for real for real but yeah i i didn't really think of like oh like networking whatever but you know what i'm saying like yeah came here end up networking so yeah super organic stuff yeah uh, i i came out to like participate in something local Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, cool. Because that's what I've been wanting to do. Mm-hmm. Do more so get out of my house. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, get me out of the crib. Yeah. Because yeah. I mean, I never like heard heard one of my demos, uh, but my friends have been rolling around with that for a while too. Mm-hmm. But it's just like actually doing something, writing something. Yeah. Uh, people seeing that mm-hmm. I'm always repping Livingston in 209. So anything I can do for people yeah. to see us out here. For sure, it's a good little warm up for you guys too. Just mm-hmm. to, like, you know, get out of the whole like, gotta make an album, gotta make it. Th- track gotta right. do something mm-hmm. you know this exactly. is just like a little refresher yeah. it's good for marketing for you guys yeah. too yeah. Yeah. yeah no yeah and like making tracks like hopefully mm-hmm. just being like hey Future i have like a little 16 bars right here and like connections too yeah exactly yeah. Yeah. Free yeah. Features, yeah. <laughs> shout out hey, christian one yeah one <laughs> feature dude like if we just get one feature like, get make a song together you know like that's more stuff yeah. some yeah, more exactly. that's more content yeah. that's quick but each day that we've been linking to that's connections with new people y'all just met like the the new filmer guy yeah yeah Got his Instagram right, right, right. Yeah, I just met him today too. Yeah, exactly. And like, you know what? Hey. even this whole project is a, a feature for you guys. Exactly. You know? oh, yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was just gonna say, fuck it, features are free. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you heard it here <laughs> first. Right here. Heard it free here. features. Right. I'm not talking about the people watching. Jay. I'm talking about everybody. <laughs> 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 I'm glad you clarified that, bro. Yeah, that's I gotta get that bag Thank too, you, man. I need my bag. Yeah. yeah. But everybody in this room, oh, my taxes will be messed up without that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, I'm gonna start writing then. So, um, it's funny, actually, um, uh, it's a small world. So, um, K- 
Kevin, you know, uh, shout out Deduction. Um, he's from Lamore too, you know, which is right next door from Hanford. And then, um, and so he hit me up, you know, and then on IG, and then he was like, hey man, like, your music's dope. And I was like, hey, thanks. And then he told me about, you know, I like you, that shit. Hey. Him and uh, Nevin, you know, they were making the Cypher projects, told me about it, and I was like, damn, honestly, that's dope, man. Like, how you guys are uniting everybody from the mm. valley, man. The Central Valley, you know, and like we, there's a lot of talent that you would not like, exactly. yeah, to for think sure. or you know that is here, mm -hmm. and it's awesome that you guys, you know, bringing everyone together from you know different areas from here, appreciate and that. really exposing and just mm -hmm. showing, sharing everyone's talents, you know, and just lyrics, you know. So, uh, hopefully, you know what I'm trying to get, you know, from here. Obviously, you know, like more connections, you know, and just meeting new people, you know, li like hearing their ideas, their lyrics, their story, you know, what they got to say too, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty cool because we each, learn we each learn something from each other. You know, we each come from somewhere different, and we got a story to tell. And that's pretty awesome, man. That we able to, you know, I want to share my music too with the yeah, world. You know, my yeah, story, my lyrics. Sure. You know, right. so it's awesome. You know that we're able to do that. So mm -hmm. we all got that yeah. same common goal. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. We all trying to make it. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. So what do you guys listen to outside of like hip hop? Because you guys were just telling me how. You guys all come from different backgrounds. Like, your parents were really, like, musically inclined and mm -hmm. just, like, where you have all this access to music where you can't really stick to one genre, even mm -hmm. if you try. Mm -hmm. so. Definitely not. Uh, I agree with that. I say some of my uh, my other people that I'd be slapping outside the playlist or the main playlist, I'd have to say is, uh, well, some of them are in the playlist, but uh, <laughs> some of them Pink Sweats goes hard. 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 Uh, so hard. Yeah. Lucky Day Max. goes hard. Masego Max. goes hard. Oh, hey, goes Masego, hard. yeah. Um, Georgia Gold Smith. Georgia Gold Smith. Link. Oh, my goodness. Oh, shit. AG uh, Link. Gold Link, man. Yes, sir. <laughs> Shout out AG, AG, baby. <laughs> AG, baby. <laughs> AG, baby. Chewy. Shout Chewy. out Chewy, my main hey. man. Hey, Southside Jay-Z. Shout out Triz. BBP gang. <sighs> this list is endless. Were you I talking about Lucky as in, like, the one who just dropped an album, like, Lucky last Friday? Lucky yeah. Day. Lucky's no. fire. Oh, no, another uh, one. Friday? I'm talking about Lucky. Another oh, one. Not Lucky, Lucky Day, no, yeah. Lucky, Lucky Day. Okay, I was like, damn, he, I didn't know he had a last name. <laughs> yeah, Lucky Day's already just dropped a new EP. Um, I usually kind of, I don't really, like I said, I grew up on different mm -hmm. genres, but nowadays I kind of stick to, like, stuff that branch out from hip-hop. Yeah. So, like, if I'm not listening to hip-hop, I'll be listening to, like, jazz. Ooh, or, like, or I like well, that. maybe, I guess, jazz kind of, no, that's the opposite, though. Like, jazz kind of. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Like, R&B, jazz. I like Bossa Nova a lot. Ooh. I just, like, even though Dope. I can't, I don't yeah. know if I can, like, listen Good to one. songs that I can't understand. I have a whole record, like, but Bossa of Nova just... Nova is the only genre I can listen to with, like, I don't understand yeah. you, but this is amazing. Right. That's, yeah. like, one amazing. of my favorite things. Like, I would just, like, go into record stores and, like, blindly pick stuff out, because I don't, out of the international section, because I don't know what's going on, but mm -hmm. you can just pick samples from that, like, exactly. crazy and... Yeah. Shout Open out to Sir, Sergio Mendez. Hey. Um, yeah, a lot of that. I Bossa Nova and mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. a lot of like salsa. I noticed that on SoundCloud, it's been pretty popular to uh, remix yeah. salsa songs, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like like Latin songs, mm -hmm. and then making them like all trapped out. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, we were talking about that in the other one too. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, like shout Cardi out. Yeah. Like Cardi, Cardi. Yeah. She. I think she kind of got that. I think out she there. popularized yeah. it. Yeah. 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 She started that wave. Yeah. And, uh, okay. Shout out to uh, Thunderstone. Thunderstone Radio or Thunderstone Labs in mm -hmm. Oakland. Um, they made like Trapatio that you can look at their stuff online. Trapatio? Yeah, it's like an, it's an hour I'm, I'm never going to like yeah. pour my hot sauce good. the same She's again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Ma, try the Trapatio. Please. They're going to make the label on the on the top of Tio bottle, the guy with the rock oh, <laughs> the guitar, like a oh, rock star yeah, guitar. Yeah, yeah. He's going to be all big. Oh, they did and like tattoos. It's damn, tight. It's tight. I would definitely check it out. <laughs> but pretty much, yeah, just like Latin vibes. Pretty much outside of hip hop mm -hmm. right now. That's what I've been doing. That's lit, bro. Uh, so you know, being you know Spanish, Latin, you know, so I do. I have listened to a lot of like cumbias, you know, mm -hmm. and then uh, rancheras. But I don't. I would say I like dancing to them more. You know, obviously. Yeah, it's sure. definitely different. Yeah, definitely, you know that rhythm. Um, but. I do listen to like some reggaeton too, you know, like honestly, like Bad Bunny, Ozuna, like J Balvin. They've been yeah. that mm -hmm. it's they're on they've the come up, dude. They've yeah. really c been coming up the last year, two years, you know. Um, and then I do also honestly, I listen to I would listen to a lot of like Michael Jackson, you know, growing up too. Mm -hmm. 
and yeah. it's yeah king of pop you know so yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. so yeah but yeah I, I do listen to some other some other outside of just like hip-hop and rap mm-hmm. so, you know. i don't yeah that's just like crazy because i feel like you have like more of an appreciation for it i mean maybe that's just like mm-hmm. my experience so i can't speak for like every like first generation or whatever but i don't know i just, I just feel like i like listen to music differently because right. i have that background right. yeah like from a young age yeah, you like i have like exactly. a different i can hear different things different i can pick it up yeah beats, beats. beats. yeah the, just yeah, like the rhythm, rhythm itself where yeah. it's like tempo that's how i see my boy because him coming from japan and like yeah. the way he writes and his style is so unique and I'm yeah just like, he's got a whole nother view on things too like yeah for mm-hmm. sure well, culture is oh yeah is definitely art yeah, yeah. like oh so yeah that's right. that's just what it is it's oh, just kind of like when you have a culture the art comes out like it's pretty it's pretty Okay, so you guys make it. Like, you guys are balling out. You have all this money. What's your first purchase? Uh, <laughs> house. Smart. Yeah. Just, just, oh, just one? Not in Just one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just one house. Uh, I'll probably, damn, first bag, I'll probably have to get my mom out debt. That's, yeah. Then, then, then get her a house or something. But definitely all debts got to be gone. Yeah. All of them. Yeah. 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 I think when I was a little kid, I probably already decided this and told my mom, so she's gonna hold it to me. Probably it's like yeah. a house for her. You, yeah, yeah. I already promised it, so that yeah, it's, it's gone. gone. Yeah, that's the it. The second one would probably be a little like you know those little um, for your dogs. It's like a little fountain, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and like water comes out and they can uh, drink from it. Uh, it just looks so change. baller. <laughs> exactly. Right. exactly, that's what yeah, I would want. Gold chain for your dog too. Exactly. Oh After, yeah. yeah, gold collar. Hell yeah. Damn. That. Yeah. Same. You know. Buy a house, you know, for my for my parents, you know. <laughs> the first buy an estate. Yeah, buy bro, I'm buying a country. Buy whatever, you know? I'll buy a whole. <laughs> Again, an island. <laughs> Dang, a whole they island. think I'm being nice. I'm just keeping them there. Damn. <laughs> yeah, so definitely, yeah, the house. And then second would probably be, honestly, like, ever since I was a kid, I wanted a, Lamber, a, Lamborghini, a Lamborghini, you know, and then just oh. Huracan. <laughs> Anyone, to be honest, man. Yeah, but, yeah. First thing I would buy, I would go to the van store and then just buy like as many shoes. Like, oh my god! <laughs> what? Yeah. Why don't you just buy yeah. vans? Why don't you just buy them? <laughs> yeah, I was like, why don't you? Yeah. No, like why don't you just like buy the company? Like. Yeah, buy oh, no, oh. no, label checks aren't that big, bro. <laughs> oh. I'm talking. You're balling out. You got big money now. You oh, got Drake okay. money. I got Drake money. Yeah. Oh, Drake money. Yeah. Like there's Drake no money. budget right now. Yeah. I do more than just that. Yeah. That's what I'm telling you. I'm like. What's the first thing you do? Like, if I got Drake money, <laughs> it just opened up a whole different like, window. Right right. Now. Drake money, I'd buy a nice studio because then that'll make me more Drake oh, money. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Nice. Number two, I'm gonna get whoa, me. Whoa, 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 one purchase. Oh, is it only one? <laughs> I thought All it was Drake money. Right. It's your I first it purchase. Drake it's Drake money, but this is your first, first purchase, purchase with Drake money. Shit. How do you bundle like a house and a plane together? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You just you, you just get like, sure something like that. That. You gotta hit I'm sure House Hunters already did an episode on that. Like uh, I don't know, it's probably like you could yeah. live on a plane. Yeah, you could live on a plane. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Oh, get a house, get a house with a, a landing, a helicopter landing zone <laughs> on top. There you yeah. and you get keep your helicopter on top. And oh. Just have a landing zone. Just Yo, you better not have any sort of neighbors. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A's home. <laughs> no trees in the area. Like no. nothing. <laughs> I think we can wrap it up then. So if you guys want to like get any final remarks, plug yourselves, any albums, tracks, whatever Ooh. you guys Ooh. are working on, throw it out. We talking plugging ourselves. Check me out. Look. At TM. Pause. Pause. <laughs> yeah, little bit, little bit. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, whatever. Run it back. <laughs> Look, I got my first ever project coming out on all platforms. Let's go. It's called Prescriptions. Ooh. Oh. Okay. You know, okay. two different two two different views on that, whether you're talking about some prescriptions from the store Ooh. or some glasses, your views on life, what gets you thinking. I'm gonna Ooh. get deep, I'm gonna get conscious. Okay. I got six yep. tracks. Nice. We're going to find out a date pretty soon. It's <laughs> oh. But hey, it's TM Benny Han at every kind of social media. So, that's at good. Me. That's there good. You go. um, I got an album coming out soon, but I'm not even going to say it. Uh, <laughs> just uh, shout out my boy Benny. Shout out Joe. He's not in this room. He got an album coming out March 22nd. At Bones Reach y'all need, y'all, excuse my language. Y'all need to go. Spotify, Google, Google Play, iTunes, whatever you can to oh. rack up them streams. That's it. Oh, yeah. Shout out SSP. Shout out my fam. It's good. Where, they, where, oh, yeah, where can they find you? Jump down to 03, by the way. Where can oh. they find you? 
Y'all gonna find me on Spotify soon. <laughs> soon. <laughs> YouTube right now. At, uh, actually, you know what? Instagram is Party Nick Dojo. Twitter is Party Nick Dojo 1. It's lit. Um, Seriously? Right. Yeah. Uh, I'm on Instagram as the always. Uh, as far as plugging, uh, my, my friend does photography and videography. That's at Lens360. Uh, my friend does art. That's Gamut92. Mm-hmm. Um, both really excellent at what they do. They're doing stuff constantly. I... I might do something this year. I don't know. I'm mm-hmm. deciding still. So. Yeah, for sure. There's no rush at all. So uh, it's uh, at jwonder underscore one on all social media platforms that you could think of. Uh, and I released my uh, first EP this last month, January. It's called Through the Nine. Y'all go check it out. It's on all available on all streaming platforms. Uh, and then also I want to give a shout out to my boy Lorenzo. He goes by DJ Legacy. Uh, me and him kind of started this to be honest we made some new songs we, our, our first songs uh, right like our senior year uh, right before we graduated high school you know we're kind of messing around with some beats and some songs so you know shout out to him too for kind of starting starting mm-hmm. it off you know and then this last semester um, over summer uh, my boy Mari and then Daniel shout out to Daniel uh, because of him you know we linked up and then we were able to make uh, these six tracks and the EP so uh, much love to them, you know, and everybody back, you know, hometown and, you know, 559 too. So, yeah, hopefully you got a lot of songs and ideas planned too and a lot more ideas, you know, mm-hmm. with all these guys right here, you know. So, yeah. got a lot of possibilities coming and plans. So, I'm excited, you know, for all that. So, yeah. Shout out to you guys too. So grateful for this opportunity. Oh, yeah. Bless you. Yeah. All love. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out KCSS. Yeah. That's why yeah. 91.9. Shout yeah. out Nevin for nice. like birthing this whole yeah. cypher yeah. factory. Yeah. For sure. Like, thank, <laughs> you thank you, man. Yeah. I got you thank guys. You. Thank you guys for participating and coming through to all of these meetups, the recording day, the interview day, the shoot you guys came through That's yesterday yeah. for the, the rehearsal. Bro. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I appreciate all of that, you know. Oh, yeah. This probably so tough. <laughs> yeah, and like any artists out there interested in being a part of something like this, hit my DMs at IB Shocker on Instagram. Um, yeah, that's about it. Shout out AG. AG, AG baby. baby. <laughs> from the first side. It'll, it'll catch on. AG, yeah. baby. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that's it, you guys. Thank you guys for coming right through. Right. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir.